Okay, then hello and welcome everyone to today's virtual tour of the city of San Francisco in California, USA. Today we will be going over the history of San Francisco, the geography, the weather, special sites to visit, and cultural aspects such as food, festivals, and fun facts. For a brief history of San Francisco, the first inhabitants of the city were the Yilamu tribe. The city resides on the ancestral lands of the Muekma, Ohlone, and Ramitash indigenous peoples. By the 16th century, the first Westerners came to the Bay as part of the Portola expedition. Seven years later, Juan Bautiza de Anza marched north from San Diego with a settlement party to establish a Spanish mission and presidio. In 1848, when the first gold was found at Sutter's Fort, San Francisco became the central area for the gold rush. In the 1930s, the city and the surrounding communities experienced large growth with the construction of the iconic Golden Gate Bridge which is uh, what San Francisco is probably best known for. Geography. San Francisco is the fourth most populous city in the American state of California. It is on a peninsula by the Pacific Ocean, the San Francisco Bay, and the Golden Gate Strait. The region is notorious for being very hilly, in various areas and flatten others. The San Andreas Fault is offshore to the west of the peninsula, and the west side of the peninsula is mostly sand dunes, whereas the east side is more marshy. In terms of weather, San Francisco has a warm summer Mediterranean climate and has moist, mild winters and dry summers. The weather is heavily influenced by the cool currents of the Pacific Ocean on the west side of the city and the water of San Francisco Bay by the north side and east. The rising hot air in California's interior valleys creates a low pressure area that draws winds from the North Pacific Highway through the Golden Gate Bridge and creates the city's cool winds and fog. Temperatures only exceed 80 degrees Fahrenheit which is 27 degrees Celsius for around 23 days a year. Main attractions of San Francisco. The Golden Gate Bridge. This bridge is the most photographed site in the city. Its strong orange color is surrounded by blue water and it occasionally peaks out of the clouds. It was opened on May 28, 1937, and took four years to build. Many locals enjoy biking across the bridge to the town of Sosalito. Golden Gate Park. Near the bridge, the Golden Gate Park contains many gardens and museums and is one of the most beautiful and expansive green spaces in the city. The park has many walking trails, cycling paths, and more than 5,000 different types of plants and trees. There are also many lakes, bridal paths, and a buffalo paddock. Some attractions inside the park include the De Young Museum, the Steinhardt Aquarium, and the Japanese Tea Garden. Alcatraz Island is another very well-known spot in San Francisco. It's located in the San Francisco Bay and is one of America's most infamous prisons. It operated for almost 30 years before it reopened as a tourist attraction in 1973. Some of the US's most well-known criminals were housed here, including Al Capone. You can take a ferry over to the island and listen to an audio recording that provides tourists a glimpse into life in the prison. Fisherman's Wharf. This is one of the best places to visit the city for restaurants and wonderful ocean views. 
From this location, you can take a sightseeing cruise or organize a fishing charter. The docks by Pier 39 are a great place to see lots and lots of sea lions. Some of the most popular attractions here include Madame Tussauds Wax Museum and Girardelli Square. Chinatown. San Francisco's Chinatown is the largest Chinatown outside of Asia and is the largest in the country and likely in Canada too. San Francisco's Chinatown is filled with temples, theaters, workshops, stores, tea houses, and traditional pharmacies. During Chinese New Year, this area is filled with many elaborate celebrations and festivities. The Palace of Fine Arts. San Francisco's Palace of Fine Arts is the last remaining building from the 1915 Panama Pacific Exposition. The building is classically designed and is situated on a lagoon. Today, the palace hosts many exhibitions and performances, as the theater can seat approximately 1,000 visitors at a time. Riding the cable cars. In 1873, Cable cars were introduced to the city as a means of helping the locals travel through the many hills throughout. The Powell Mason and Powell Hyde routes are the most scenic, if you'd like to take them for views of the city. But the cable cars can also get visitors to Fisherman's Wharf, Girardelli Square, the Ferry Building, and many other sites. Tickets can be bought on board the cable car or visitors can buy a pass if they will be sightseeing for multiple days for a reduced price. Twin Peaks. These two mountain peaks are uninhabited hills more than 900 feet high. Those who are looking to embrace some nature in the city can take a hike by the trails over the North and South Peaks. The Twin Peaks are the only hills in the city that have not been built on and they remain in their original condition. Even on hot days, visitors can go up to the peaks to feel the cool breeze from the Pacific. High tea at a historic hotel. There are a great number of historic hotels in San Francisco. The Fairmont was opened in 1907 and is a great place to have high tea at this Victorian building. It offers afternoon tea on Saturdays and Sundays, which typically includes a variety of different traditional teas and pastries and little sandwiches. The Ritz Carlton is another popular hotel for high tea, and one can enjoy their meal while, while looking out at the spectacular city views. The Palace Hotel is another that was built in 1875 and offers a traditional afternoon tea service with complete fine china, silver, specialty sandwiches, and scones. Now we will talk a little bit about the San Francisco culture, including food, festivals, and fun facts. Anchor Steam Beer. America's first craft brewery was established in this location in 1896. Today, visitors are allowed to tour the facility and taste the iconic San Francisco beer. The beer was traditionally made in the cool climate of the city's rooftops in lieu of ice to cool the wort. Sourdough bread from Bowdoin Sourdough. The Bowdoin factory makes some of the best bread bowls with chowder inside. The original San Francisco sourdough, which is the name that Bowdoin calls itself, is the longest operating business in the entire city. The main factory is located on Fisherman's Wharf and it sells not only bread bowls, but also animal shaped bowls. And we can see over to the right here, a couple of bread bowls shaped as turtles. Another place you can eat at Fisherman's Wharf 
is um, at one of the many different seafood joints. Fisherman's Wharf was the working palace of many Italian and Chinese immigrants and is now the site of seafood paradise. An Italian American seafood stew called Chiopino was invented in San Francisco in an attempt to use up leftover stew. It is now a famous delicacy. The city is also famous for Dungeonese crab during the winter season. Festivals. Two festivals that we have showcased here are the Ocean Film Festival and the Cherry Blossom Festival. The Ocean Film Festival lasts from April 7th to 4th. There are more than 50 works that pertain to the great oceans. There are many pieces about the ocean's ecosystem, including the various plants and animals. The Cherry Blossom Festival is a two weekend long celebration every spring in San Francisco's Japantown. Many visitors listen to traditional Japanese music and sample local foods from the neighborhood. Fun facts. The Golden Gate Park, though perhaps not as famous as Central Park, is actually bigger. Chinese fortune cookies, which have become an essential part of uh, what we consider like North American Chinese food, were actually invented in San Francisco by Chinese immigrants. The Golden Gate Bridge was originally supposed to be black and gold. More fun facts. The city is built on more than 50 different hills. Alcatraz was supposed to be used as a military fort before it became a prison. And the city is also home to the largest Japan town in the country. So that concludes the end of today's virtual tour. Thank you so much for uh, digitally visiting San Francisco with us. I hope you all enjoyed it.